Uh, hello, I'm Juan Tao. Uh, lessons learned from Katrina to recent IDA. Um, our repetitive uh, flood loss area analysis examined New Orleans flood risk and its uh, mitigation. Uh, I am a lead uh, a, a PhD ABD researcher at UNL Chart, which is an applied science research center. The city of New Orleans was granted 141 million via the HUD. Um, National Disaster Resiliency Competition. Part of that fund focused on stormwater management to conduct this repetitive flood loss area analysis. We partnered with the city of uh, the city's hazard mitigation office to support efforts to reduce repetitive flooding, uh, mitigation planning, and education outreach. Uh, and our final goal is to earn uh, community rated system points that could result in over $10.3 million per year in savings, in flooded uh, insurance savings for all the residents. Uh, this is the steps to our analysis and how we use Ezra program. First, no notifying the residents with uh, the water bill seen on the right, then reviewing hazard and mitigation data with ArcGIS desktop, uh, collecting data over uh, 140,000 properties across the city with ArcGIS uh, photo survey. In the uh, review and documentation steps, we use ArcGIS Enterprise and uh, API. Uh, I would surmise we are all GIS practitioner and understand how GIS can be utilized to do research. For example, from Ian McHeggs, um, known as the father of GIS, his uh, map overlay method for analyzing interconnected complex system at varying levels of aggregation seen here uh, from the state to the individual properties. Uh, in aggregating data, both with maps and tables of the city 10 district to the smaller 72 neighborhoods help prioritize uh, for mitigation planning and project implement implementation. Uh, we quantify the citywide flood risk with 40 year flood cost data, which is more than 7 billion uh, from FEMA's National Flood Insurance Program. And then we identify the repetitive, the repetitive flood loss uh, properties in red dots, uh, which are insurable buildings with two or more claims of more than a thousand in a 10 year uh, time period. Uh, we can clearly see the um, spatial clustering in the center um, right here uh, of uh, the city, which is like a bowl. Uh, this is the flood insurance rate map uh, of the flood zones, uh, highlighting the uh, A, light blue special flood hazard area, which has a 1% 1% or 100 year storm flooding events. Again, we can see the spatial correlation of flood risk. Uh, gray infrastructure uh, collects storm water uh, runoff and sends uh, it to pump stations through canals, mains, and pipe, uh, which did held up during um, this year, Hurricane Ida. Uh, here's a green infrastructure map, um, which is a, a nature-based solution for passive process of detention, uh, retention, and uh, filtration. Our city is becoming the leading example of these alternative ecosystem services. Uh, we are, uh, we use ArcGIS Photo Survey, which is um, a wear vehicle with a camera like the, the uh, Google one, uh, drove around the city and took photos embedded with geospatial data. Uh, more than 20 grad, uh, grad researcher took uh, plus two years uh, using this app seen on the left to add uh, GS data to over 140,000 individual properties, uh, such as the foundation type seen on this map. Uh, education outreach were done with um, community neighborhoods meetings, and we shared uh, the city's Ready for the Rain website where residents can search the individual property flood risk and mitigation information. Uh, additional user experience are being explored with ArcGIS API for JavaScript 
with the uh, slide bar interface um, and even ArcGIS runtime uh, for an extended reality user interface seen here. Um, Ezra program has helped us have a better understanding of the causes of rep repetitive flood flooding and the best mitigation practice reduce the cost of uh, property damage and its detrimental effects on residents' lives. Thank you.